So what Maguro Portis got today, guys? New lands and areas have been announced for Universal Studios Beijing. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Oxford Ball, Ball, Ball for Theme Park News. First of all, big shoutouts go to Brian Galeas and Pokemon Ash Vlogs. If you want a shout out in our next video, then just comment down below and I'll give you your shout out in the next video on the following day. So this is a Theme Park Newsroom update from Universal Studios Beijing, a brand new theme park set to open for the 2021 season. This project all first came about around 2014 when we first started hearing stuff about this project and now 2021, uh, two years time, the opening date for the park. We now have the lands and areas that's going to be included in the theme park as well as some attraction details that we've managed to get hold of as well. So we're going to go through all the details, share with you the concepts images for all the lands. So let's start with our first area. Jurassic World Isla Nubar. So the description officially from the park on Jurassic World Isla Nubar uh, reveals as follows. Welcome to Jurassic World Isla Nub Nublar. Guests of all ages can explore Isla Nublar, an island of wonder and thrills where dinosaurs roam the earth again. Universal Beijing Resort takes the essence of this legendary film franchise and create a larger than life destination for our audiences to experience attractions and adventures never seen before. Feel the power of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Velociraptors and Kylosaurs and the fearsome Indominus Rex at Jurassic World Isla Nubar. So with that area specifically then, uh, we've got a lot of stuff to look forward to with that. Um, I mean it does look a fantastic area doesn't it? Um, and looking at the overall concept for the park, there appears to be a dark ride in this land instead of a river, river attraction, which is of course in Hollywood and Islands of Adventure. So they're not going to go for the Jurassic Park River Adventure kind of thing, or the Jurassic World The Ride kind of look. They're going for a dart ride rather than a river expedition adventure boat ride type of thing. So very different to the traditional Universal Jurassic World area. But like I said, I'm really excited about that uh, specific uh, project. Moving in then to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. The, with the opening of Universal Studios Beijing Resort, Chinese fans will have the opportunity to celebrate the magic of the Wizarding World when they step inside the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Hogsmeade. An award winning experience that features multiple groundbreaking attractions, shops, restaurants, entertainment and more. From its snow capped roofs and cobblestone streets to all the special touches that characterise the whimsical look and feel of the land. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter will transport guests of all ages to the very places they read about in stories or watched on the silver screen. So with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, it will feature multiple attractions. Uh, we don't know what those are yet, however, I am expecting a, um, a dark ride of some sort. Uh, well, I'm thinking, hopefully there is a dark ride of some sort, uh, maybe like a... Uh, like a dark ride coaster system, like Escape from Gringotts uh, in the old in the Diagon Alley expansion. Maybe they could use that system, but sort of theme it differently. Maybe again, we have no idea at this point in terms of specific attractions for this particular area. However, it's very interesting that we could see maybe a dark ride, maybe a couple of uh, uh, flats or family rides, maybe to sort of give the whole audience the feel of Harry Potter and the attractions. So it should be pretty interesting. I think this area is pretty much going to be about the whole experience rather than just the attractions. Um, so it should be pretty interesting to see what's going to happen with that one. Moving in then to Minion Land. Everyone loves a bit of Minion Land. Hashtag Despicable Me. Inspired by the Illumination Entertainment Despicable Me franchise, Minion Land is an exciting, fun-filled world that is alive with characters and scenes from the films. It is a place where children and adults could see exciting new shows meet their favourite characters and enjoy interaction with the mischievous minions everywhere they go. Scenes from the films come to life, inviting visitors to play along in an immersive one that is fun for the whole family. So with Minion Land then, uh, in terms of the attractions uh, in the area, 
Now we don't have specific details on attractions with this area either, however it says that guests can see new shows, meet their favourite characters and interact with the minions everywhere they go. So it's filled with characters and scenes from the film, so I think it's more of an overall experience again rather than just attractions in this area. However, I am expecting maybe a dark ride or maybe like a family coaster just to give that super silly fun land feel for it like it is in the concept art. Uh, so that's an interesting one to follow. Now, Transformers Metro Base. Let's have a look at this one then. So Transformers Metro Base is based on Hasbro's Transformers franchise and it's the first theme park land in the world dedicated to Transformers. So very nice for Universal Beijing to be the first. An expanded story was specifically developed for the character Metro Base, who is a titan, the robot si the size of a city. In conjunction with top Chinese scientists, Metro Base selected this in Energon Re Rich site, just outside the city of Beijing, to serve as the Nest Beijing headquarters, a top secret technologically advanced zone where an alliance between humans and Autobots developed to protect the Earth. The land is filled with Cybertronian architecture and advanced technology that creates an immersive experience that brings guest agents into the world of Transformers like never before. So one massive thing that you can spot, uh, specifically with the Transformers Metro base, is of course the big old clone, the Transformers themed clone of Incredible Hulk, which is the B&M uh, sit down launch coaster at Universal Islands of Adventure over in Orlando, Florida. So we've got a clone of that. That's the construction of that's coming along really, really well. You can check out photos online from uh, people close to the park and sort of people visiting the park. You can check out construction of the track layout from there. Forums will have it on as well. Um, and the Hulk clone is coming along really, really well. So that's going to be a nice attraction for the park. Moving on to our very next area then, we're going to be moving into the Kung Fu Panda Land of Awesomeness. So this is of course themed around the uh, DreamWorks animation um, Kung Fu Panda. So the description reads, Kung Fu Panda Land of Awesomeness brings to life the animated movie series Kung Fu Panda, which follows the adventure of the brave panda Po. In his quest to become a Kung Fu master, the complete indoor experience is set in legendary China and is poised to become the world's first theme park land created with the Kung Fu Panda theme. Which is technically true. Technically true. Um, there is like a Kung Fu Panda mini area, I guess, uh, located in the big old DreamWorks area, like a mini plaza in the DreamWorks section, a Motion Gate Dubai, uh, which is their indoor section. So. Again, technically it's a full themed land because that one's technically a mini, like a section of the DreamWorks land. So technically that's true. Um, now, of course, it does say visitors will be thrilled by the numerous Chinese themed locations featuring throughout the environment, including many of the franchise's most beloved icons such as Jay Palace, the Panda Village and the Peach Tree of Heavenly Wisdom. Uh, with its stunning Chinese architecture, festive decor, delicious food and captivating performances, this unforgettable one-of-a-kind experience has promised to travel the universal guests through the movie screen and into the majesty and grandeur of the movie. Now you can see already at the back of the concept art, you can see uh, like a, a couple of windows, like a sign on top. That'll be for a restaurant. Uh, it won't be for an attraction because there's no other um, entrance. There's like a door next to the two windows, but that's like an entrance and exit to the restaurant. So I don't think that'll be an attraction. Be a bit surprised if it is. Um, there's like a giant Kung Fu pan, like a giant Po statue uh, to the left of the concept art as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and in terms of attractions in this area, again, we don't have any details at this stage of attractions. So pretty much it's the... Um, it's the Transformers clone uh, uh, of Hulk. Uh, the Transformers theme clone of Hulk at this stage that's the sort of uh, the only main confirmed attraction for the areas and the parks so uh, as well as the Jurassic World Dark Ride so uh, not much attractions at this stage however we should get some as soon as possible next up then uh, you've got Hollywood Boulevard so guests will live their Hollywood dreams in this land and here guests can experience the lights camera action attraction featuring directors Zhang Yimou and Steven Spielberg the experience will combine both Western and Eastern pop culture and take guests behind the scenes of Hollywood special effects. So that's going to be a pretty nice attraction there. You've got Waterworld, 
uh, which is the, uh, the stunt show that offers a one of a kind battle on water and only in Beijing the show will expand into a land that includes dining and other entertainment offerings. And of course they will also debut uh, two new resort hotels when the park opens, the Universal Studios Grand Hotel, uh, which will be a modern interpretation of the Hollywood Golden Age with the classic uh, Spanish architectural style uh, featuring 800 rooms. Um, and the decor will surround guests with the world of film and their favourite movies, which is really cool. The second of the hotels, the NUO Resort Hotel, a more luxurious escape inspired by the beauty of China's ancient royal garden. The first ever resort hotel from NUO, one of the country's first luxury hotel brands, and the hotel will be located beside the park's waterway and feel like a private retreat, including approximately 400 rooms. Now, if you are wondering, yes, there is a city walk in this area. So, basically, there's a, un, this new Universal City Walk Beijing Entertainment Complex. Uh, this will be sort of located, like any other Universal, like the City Walk sort of connects the parks with the hotels. So, this is going to connect the two hotels, it's going to connect uh, the park itself, and also any future expansion for any hotels. That will connect really nicely with City Walk as well. So there we go, Universal Studios Beijing lands and areas. Now, like we said, not many attractions confirmed at this stage. Jurassic World Dark Ride. Um, we've got the Transformers-themed clone of Incredible Hulk, the B&M launch. And, obviously, of course, the Lights, Camera, attraction, uh, uh, Action Attraction, located in the Hollywood Boulevard section of the park. I'm guessing that could be something like Disaster Studios, where you're in, like, a tram. And it's sort of like these effects going all over the place. A proper universal attraction. Um, for those of you who are, those of you who remember that attraction before Fast and Furious Supercharged came in uh, a few years ago. But um, again, it's anyone's guess at this point what that could be. Because it is an attraction. It's not like a, a stunt show or anything like that. Like Waterworld is, which I'm really excited about. Uh, this lights, camera, action attraction is set to be an attraction, not a stunt show. So again, it could be... Um, not really a ride of any sort, but like just a, 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 a an attraction of some sort. So I'm really curious to as what that's going to be. But overall, I am super excited uh, about this area. I think it's going to be a fantastic park. Uh, all the areas in the park are going to be brilliant. The whole park is going to be fantastic. The hotels look brilliant. Um, construction's coming along really nicely. Thick and fast construction. Uh, and of course... You know, new parks at Universal don't stop there. You've got Universal Studios Beijing in 2021, and you've got Epic Universe coming to Orlando in 2023. So, you know, I'm going to be 23 years old by the time that Epic Universe opens, and Beijing is around two years old. So, I am super excited for this. I don't think we have a confirmed opening date as of yet. Uh, however, we do know it is going to open in 2021 for definite, so it's just a specific date. My guess would be spring, summertime 2021, um, and they're going to have a full opening ceremony for it. I don't think I'm going to be there for the opening ceremony, however, it's definitely a park I want to visit in the future, uh, if I'm over there in Asia at some point. Uh, in the in the long term future, so definitely a part to visit in the long term future. But I don't think I'll be there for the opening ceremony in 2021. Um, depends what plans I've what other plans I've got at this stage. Uh, it's still two years away. It's still like two years away. So um, depends what plans I've got at this stage. So it's going to be interesting to follow the developments and the and the more sort of construction and announcements from this park. Um, but thank you very much for watching this theme park news update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chal, Keep on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day, my friends.